What's good, y'all? It's your boy DJ Triple Six coming to you from my personal studio, Studio Six Music. Got Dr. Disrespect up on the big screen. You already know what I mean. Listen, if you are having problems with your Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2.0, even Modern Warfare 2019 or the original Warzone, if you're having issues with any of these, such as the program won't launch, crashes, bugs, glitches, but especially your game won't launch, no matter if it's Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 2019, I got you. Listen, I'm gonna have to sit here and explain some stuff and I'm also gonna show you some stuff. We're gonna start simple and then work all the way up to some advanced shit. I have a 99% guarantee that if you watch this whole video, at least the advanced shit should get your program running, Modern Warfare 2 especially. I had the issue, Modern Warfare 2, the one that just came out, I had the issue when I bought the game, I originally bought it on Battle.net. The game would not launch at all, no matter what I did, I couldn't even get the game to open. Had to get a refund. That took two or three weeks the entire process from buying it to getting a refund activision by the way is no fucking help fuck you activision fuck you they're absolutely useless and at, at the end of this i'll show you what a joke they are if you want to see activision isn't going to help you so your boy six is here to help you i personally recommend buying the game on steam if a game is available on steam i would always go with steam always fuck battle.net fuck activision Anyway, without further ado, let's jump into it. Now, we're going to start with Steam, and then after Steam, we'll do Battle.net, okay? Like I said, we're going to start simple and work into advanced. Now, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. Go into Steam, and what I want you to do is right-click it, go to Manage, and then Browse Local Files. Your file explorer should pop up, might pop up behind it. I want you to just look at mine real quick, all right? Now, if you have it on Steam, you should have all the same files that I do, all right? There's 10,463 files, okay? 10,463. Now, I'm telling you this because one of the issues is when you download this, it wouldn't give you all the files. When I downloaded it, I was dead ass missing the launcher and a few other things. Now, if you're, if you have like a couple of files less than me, that's no big deal. Everybody's PC I've seen is different. I might have some extra files and stuff like that. That's fine. You should have in the ballpark of 10,463 files. If you're missing any or anything like that, like I was, this next step should help you out. All right, so let's close that. Go back into Steam, right click on Modern Warfare 2, go down to properties local files and then click verify integrity of game files what this should what this will do is it'll scan everything and if you're missing anything it'll update it get the files you need shit like that theoretically all right that's what it's supposed to do once that's done try to launch the game if your game still isn't launching there could be some other factors at play here. For me, when I finally got the game to almost launch, I found out that programs like uh, Razer, any of the Razer apps like Razer Synapse, Razer Cortex, Razer Chroma, um, even MSI Afterburner, for some reason, those programs interfere with Modern Warfare 2. So if you have any of those programs, just go ahead and close them out. Go down to on the bottom right of your screen where your hidden icons are right click and exit all of your apps all right like this it's going to be behind me but you'll be able to see a little bit right click on razor and exit all apps do the same thing with msi afterburner click it close it out get rid of it all right now then once you've closed that try launching the game again if your game still doesn't launch, we're going to move on to the next step, okay? This applies to people that have an SSD. If you don't have an SSD, you're going to have to skip this step, 
For those of my people that have an SSD, if you have Modern Warfare installed on your hard drive and you have an SSD also, we're going to move our install folder. All right. So we're going to click that and it'll show you all your folders available. Go to your SSD, do everything it tells you. Try that. Once it's fully moved, try to launch the game. Now then, we're going to jump over to Battle.net real quick. Try to help the people on Battle.net. We got one more thing with Steam that involves Battle.net though. So before I close Steam, this is for my Battle.net people. All right. Like I said, if you have an opportunity to buy the game on Steam, always buy it on Steam. Way better, man. Way better. All right. We're going to get into the advanced stuff in a minute here. Okay. For all my people that have it on Battle.net, what I want you to do, go to games and then go to add a non steam game to my library go ahead and find your modern warfare things like that if it's not in this list you got to click browse you should always have a general idea where all your stuff is installed so for me mine's in here i have a special call of duty folder it's going to be in a folder you have to go into the folder see right here modern warfare modern warfare launcher you have to click Modern Warfare and then click Open. It will add the game to Steam. All right. And what that does is it will use Steam as the launcher instead. All right. So go ahead and try that. Add it. Once it's added, go ahead and click on it. It should say Play. Go ahead and click Play. See what happens. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. All right. Now this next step. This is what helped me. This is what made it work for me, all right? What made it work for me is a complete BIOS update of my PC. Now I realize there's some people out there that are probably not gonna be able to update their BIOS. In that situation, I would contact support for whoever manufactures your PC or Windows support, Microsoft support. So either your manufacturer or Windows support Microsoft. All right. So say you have an HP laptop and you can't update your BIOS. Contact HP support. Go, go to Google. Look up HP support chat. See if they got a chat that you can talk live with. Same thing with Microsoft. And tell them you need a BIOS update because your game won't launch. And you're certain of it. All right. Most likely... That is everybody's problem, especially if your game won't launch. It's something to do with the BIOS. A lot of people talk about, oh, you got to backdate your NVIDIA driver. You can't use the newest one. The That's newest no. NVIDIA driver works. You won't know for sure if you can do a BIOS update or not until you try. And part of this, I'm going to have to film on my phone because I'm going to have to go into my BIOS and show you guys how to do this. So I want, after I do the battle net portion of this, I want everybody to follow my instructions with the BIOS, all right? So for those people that have Battle.net and you bought Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 2019 on Battle.net, I don't have Modern Warfare 2, so I'm gonna use the original Modern Warfare as an example, but it's the same exact process, same exact principle, everything. Right here, the cog wheel, we're gonna click on that. First thing you're gonna do is click scan and repair. So go ahead and click that, see what it does. And then after it's done, try launching the game. If your game still doesn't launch, click the cogwheel again, go to show in Explorer. Now this is a trick with Battle.net that's very weird, all right? Once you click show in Explorer and you find your Modern Warfare folder, what we need to do is create a new folder, okay? So you can either, if you have Windows 11, up here you can just click the new button, new folder, or if you have Windows 10, you can just right click on an empty space, go down to new and then folder. All right. You can name the new folder anything you want. I advise naming it uh, Modern Warfare new folder just so you know what it is in the future. It doesn't matter what the name is. You can name it anything you want. You can name it uh, your mom's fat tits if you want. All right. M Big mommy milkers, whatever you want. Okay. Once you create the new folder, go into your current Modern Warfare folder with all the files and select them all. 
fast way to do it is you click on a folder and then go to your keyboard and press control a and it will select all right click and cut the folders and the files out select all cut all right once you have them cut go back go to the new folder and paste everything into the new folder all right so what we're doing is we're transferring all the folders and files from your current modern warfare folder to the new one once you have done that go back again and your original modern warfare folder delete it on windows 11 there's a trash can icon right here so select it hit the trash icon windows 10 right click and go down to delete Battle.net is not going to know where the folder is, so it's going to think the game is not installed. There is a way to fix that, okay? Battle.net should already be aware that the folder is gone. If it's not, close your Battle.net out real quick and restart it, okay? It should say install because it thinks the game is deleted off your PC, but it's not. Right underneath the giant blue play button, it should say locate folder locate files i want you to click that and go to the new modern warfare folder that we just created and select it that will update battle.net as to where the folder is all right right below the blue play button hit locate files all right once you've done that it should switch to play if it doesn't close your battle.net out again and restart it and it should update to play now that it knows where the files are so once you've done that go ahead and click play if you do that and the game still doesn't launch, now is the part that actually worked for me. To get my Modern Warfare 2 to launch, we're gonna update the BIOS, all right? Now then, what you need to do, if you have a desktop or a laptop, if you have a desktop, you need to go to your motherboard's manufacturer website. So for me, I have an Asus motherboard. So I would need to go to the Asus site Download their driver for their motherboard, and I'll show you guys how to do this. If you don't know what your motherboard is, there's a way to find that out. Go to Google real quick and type in how to find out what brand motherboard I have or something of that nature. Type that in, and it'll tell you how to find out. You need to find out your manufacturer. If you're on a laptop, the motherboard's going to be the same manufacturer as the laptop. So if you have an HP laptop, you have an HP motherboard. If you have an Asus laptop, you have an Asus motherboard and so on. All right. Close all the programs out that we launched. Steam, Battle.net, everything. Now I already have the page up for mine, but I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So go to Google. Now for me, I have an Asus motherboard. So I'm going to go to www.asus.com. If you have a gigabyte motherboard, type in gigabyte in Google, gigabyte motherboard, it'll take you to the gigabyte site, and so on and so forth. All right. For me, it's Asus. I need to go to motherboards. For me, I have a Prime, so I'm going to click Asus Prime. Like I said, you need to know what kind of motherboard you have. My laptop people, you need to know what kind of laptop you have, which you should. Asus site makes it real easy. I want all the Asus Prime motherboards. It's going to update. I'm gonna scroll down. I have the Asus Prime P D4 Wi-Fi, which is right here. I have a Z690 P D4 Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna click this, support, drivers and tools. It's gonna to ask me my operating system, which is Windows 11. I'm gonna click Windows 11. All right, so now that I've selected Windows 11, all of this pops up, but for me, it's actually the next tab over. It's BIOS and firmware. Remember, we're updating the BIOS right here. BIOS version, it came out October 19th, 2022, which is exactly a month ago. This was the one I needed. This is the one I downloaded. So I'm going to click download. I'm going to take it to my download files. I'm going to go to downloads, right click, extract all. Okay. So we got the BIOS renamer and the cap file. Go ahead and run the BIOS renamer, just double click on it. It's going to pop up your command prompts or your PowerShell and it's going to rename it. Okay. Once you have done the BIOS renamer, 
The next thing you're gonna need is a USB flash drive. One of these, a USB flash drive. If you have a PC, you should have one of these, all right? If you don't, then you're not going to be able to update the BIOS this way, all right? You're gonna have to go look up another way to update your BIOS without a USB stick. If you wanna do it this way, which I recommend you do, you can buy a USB stick extremely cheap off Amazon. You can buy them at Walmart. You don't need a big one at all. <clears throat> like seriously, five, 10 gigabytes is enough. You don't need a lot. For all my people that do have a USB, what I want you to do, take the USB stick, insert it into your USB drive on your computer. What I want you to do right here for me, the Prime Z690 P4D4 Asus, the cat is called a cap file, C-A-P file. Take this file and drag it to the USB stick. I'm not gonna do it cause I don't need to, but yeah. Take it, drag it to the USB stick. Do not put anything else on this USB stick. The USB stick must be empty. All you can put on this is the cat file, all right? Once you have done that, you are now ready to do the easy flash. For everybody else, if you got gigabyte, whatever, it's the exact same process. You download your BIOS file, the cap file, and you put it on a USB stick, all right? For all my homies on laptops and things like that, like I said, you're gonna have to talk to support. However, before you do that, I would try to see if you can update your BIOS. So do the exact same process. If you have an HP laptop, go to the HP site, search for a BIOS update and things like that. Download the cap file, put the cap file on a USB stick. All right. Now then, before we jump into the USB update, it's called Easy Flash. Do not fuck with the computer at all while it's updating the BIOS. Just let it fucking run. Let it run. Make sure that you have the proper file for your motherboard okay this won't hurt your pc if you're following my instructions you have an asus motherboard then you need to get an asus bios update i can't go to a gigabyte site the gigabyte brand and download a gigabyte bios update and try to put it on my asus motherboard that would be a terrible idea don't do that so stick with your manufacturer all right if you're having issues or you're not sure which BIOS update to pick, you need the most recent one, like I said, but if you're not comfortable, can't figure it out, you can contact your su the support team for your motherboard. Mine would be ASUS, so I would contact ASUS support and I would ask them, you know, I need the most recent BIOS, can you please show me which one it is? And they will help you out, all right? Now then, let the BIOS do its thing while it's updating. Don't turn your PC off. It might take a while. It's working. So don't get scared and unplug your PC or turn it off and try to restart it. Just let it do its thing and wait for it to be complete. I will see you guys in the BIOS right now.
Now then, if you're at this part, we're coming into the end of the video. Hopefully the BIOS update helped you. I'm 99% sure it did and your game should launch now. Once you're back into everything, go and try to launch Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, whatever, whatever it is. Try to launch it and it should be working now, all right? I hope this helps. I truly do. The reason I'm doing this is because Activision support sucks. When I was fucking talking to them, bro, it took me three hours to explain all the troubleshooting steps I got. And then when I was finally done emailing back and forth with the guy telling him everything I did, you know what he said to me? I'm going to refer you to advanced support. So apparently the support team has a support team, which has a support team. Yeah. Activision is useless, man. So anyway, listen. If you're still having any problems, you can contact me, all right? My phone number is 989-267-0041. Or you can drop a comment on this video. I'm going to upload it to both of my channels, all right? To Boy666, I truly hope this helped y'all. I'll let you boy.